Tell us who these people are. Okay. So I'm Julia. Um, I'm Phil's oldest granddaughter. Um, yeah, and I think something that I really appreciate about my grandpa is just his human warmth. And especially being young in these times when everyone's on their cell phone, and everyone's texting, so nice to see someone who takes the time to actually get to know a stranger or talk to the person at Brugger Bagels that he sees every day. And just seeing someone who demonstrates that human warmth and connection every day, is, I really value it. So thank you, Papa. Happy birthday. Thank you, Alex. I'm uh, the oldest grandchild. I um, just want to say, um, Thank you for everything, and I love you, and happy birthday. Um, I'm James, I'm younger, <laughs> and uh, over the time that I at least have known Papa for the past 19 years, I've been around, um, one thing that he's taught me, and all of us, and I guess just about everybody he's met, is how important it is to be genuine. And I think that that's something you can really take and reflect upon yourself, I guess. So, thank you for that. Mm -hmm. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. <laughs> In his uh, living room, and said, I've got something to tell you. And I said, what is it? I thought, and you know what I could say, I just was afraid that maybe he was telling me he was not interested. He said, I'm 77 years old. Well, granted, I was younger, but just then the telephone rang, and it was his mother. <laughs> she was calling to check on him. She was almost a hundred. <laughs> But let me tell you, it's not only good genes to which I'll refer, it's the food he eats, he's very careful about eating very good food, uh, he takes a nap every day, he's cheery all the time, makes me laugh time after time during the day, and also he has a genuine interest in people, in helping and knowing about them and trying to do anything he can. He's a role model for all of us. Don't forget my hundred. <laughs> that you're in our lives. I'm sure at 95 years of age, who's counting, that you are as well. And maybe I'm a nut to you, certainly not something your modesty would allow you to acknowledge. You have provided all of us with a quiet education by being an inspirational role model. By observing your life, your reactions to life's difficulties, and behavior to your fellow humankind, we have all benefited from you. Predicated on the elegance that came from a rich background of life experiences being one of the greatest generation, your life has been an encouragement to all of us. A person is to be judged by his reactions to life's hardships. And despite all that you have experienced, you retained a sense of fairness, honesty, humility, and above all, humor. And somehow, despite the struggles and issues of the past, you avoided being resentful and jaded. Instead of cynicism, you developed a caring, enveloping, optimistic nature that valued life. You never forgot the modest roots from which you were born and the people that helped you along the way. The compassion that you exhibit in your daily life somehow flourished despite your own personal trials. 
You are admired not simply by merely surviving to your current 95th year of life, a remarkable achievement partially attributed, by the way, to medical wonders, and an enviable goal for all of us, but because you've been able to negotiate life's maze with dignity and grace. And although many of us are aware of your significant and enduring personal civic and business accomplishments in the past, is your current ability to reach out to all of us in a profound personal manner for which, for which you are most appreciated. Mindful of other people's feelings, possessing a sensitive emotional antenna, you always seem to find the right word of encouragement for anyone in need. Implicit in your charming influence has been a subtle message of hope and joy. Any individual who comes in contact with you may not always realize your gift, but all laugh when they leave your presence. Your humbleness and wisdom cannot be denied. Whatever circumstances we face, we can look to your life for guidance in weathering the storms of our lives. Your ability to make light of serious situations has made it easier for us to deal with our own personal tribulations. Your kind, non-judgmental nature and concern for others has instructed us that we are all integrated and interdependent and require encouragement and love to prosper. We celebrate your birthday because we are glad you are in our lives and provide all of us more than you know with leadership, wisdom, and spiritual direction. I can say a good medical authority that I'm particularly pleased that you have attained this birthday milestone because I know that genetics <laughs> is a major factor in determining one's longevity, including my own. Thanks, Dad, for yet another gift. It is indeed a joy to be your son. A classic song have in common with a classic fellow. Like Phil Roseman. Well, three things came to mind immediately. Like this beautiful song, Phil speaks to people. In the truest sense of the word, of course. But you're here because Phil has singled you out somewhere, somehow, and spoken to you. And then within five minutes, you already told Phil your life story. So when I say Phil speaks to people, you know what I mean. Secondly, like Phil, this song touches your heart. When you listen to Phil, you can't help but be touched by his sense of humor, his generosity, his authentic grace and warmth. He's a real thing. And we're so lucky to have him. Lastly, what does this beautiful classic song have in common with Phil Roseman? This one you can probably guess. They've both been around for a darn long time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll say one other thing before I launch into this. Wish me luck with it. A dear friend of mine, fellow musician, a harmonica player named Charlie McCoy, world famous musician, still traveling the world today in his 80s. As vibrant a person as you'd ever want to meet, explained it to me this way Getting older is a privilege, getting old is a choice. Phil, you have chosen wisely to the benefit of us all. Cathedral bells were tolled.
holy, but our hearts sang on.